I hate my job. I hate. That. Thank God you've got a job. That's right. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. You need to learn to be content with whatever we have. That doesn't mean we pray and we ask God uh, for better, uh, but, but be happy with what you've got. Uh, amen. And thankful with what you've got. Uh, amen. And verse 11 says, Not that I was never in need, said, for I've learned how to be content. Uh, he said, I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. Amen. We like, oh yeah, I know how to live when I have everything. Money in the bank, the cars are running, the bills are paid, plenty of food. You know, we know how to live then. But how about when we have almost nothing? Woo! We need to learn how to live when we have almost nothing Amen. and be just as happy. Amen. So if someone says, hey, you know, man, he must, he must just, man, he's got it all together. You know, he's... You know, don't come in here poor mouth. Oh God, you don't know, man. Uh, I don't have hardly two dimes to rub together, and I hope, uh, you know, Lord have mercy. I hope, uh, you know, nobody notices when the offering plate passes because I don't have anything to put in there. And I hope, Lord Jesus, maybe they won't even take up offering tonight. So I want, hey, just be, Lord. Hey, if you got a penny to give, or if you got a hundred dollars to give, be happy about it. And I'll tell you what, if you'll give when all you have is a penny to give, uh, amen, you'll come to a place when you have a hundred dollars to give. Don't be stingy either way. If somebody say amen. 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 Be able, amen, to live in every situation. He said, I've learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or an empty stomach. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And it wouldn't hurt us to have an empty stomach every once in a while. That's right. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. I've learned, amen, with plenty or with little, for I can do everything through Christ which gives me strength. I can do everything. Yes. Amen. A lot of people like to use this scripture. I hear them quoted all the time. But all this other stuff goes with it. You see, you can't do everything if you're not praying about everything. Amen. Amen. You can't do everything if you're not giving God glory in the good and the bad. Amen. See, it all works together. Amen. Hallelujah. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Everything that I have comes from the Lord. He says, even so you have done well to share with me in my present difficulty. As you know, you Philippians were the only ones who gave me financial help when I was first brought, when I first brought the good news and then traveled on from Macedonia. No other church did this. Even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent help more than once. I don't say this because I want a, a gift from you. Rather, I want you to receive a reward for your kindness. At the moment, I have all I need and more. Amen. Amen. That's good. Amen. Woo. Amen. I have all that I need and more. We're, we, you know what? A lot of us, we can sit down and make up a list of what we need. Ooh, I could use a little more of this, a little more of that. And I could use... No, hey, I, I I thank God. Hey, I've got Jesus. Amen. Someone say amen. amen. Is that I am generously supplied with the gifts you sent uh, me with Ephroditus. Uh, they are sweet smelling sacrifice that is acceptable and pleasing to God. And this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs uh, from His glorious riches uh, which, have, which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. Uh, amen. God takes care of us uh, and God will supply all of our needs. Amen. Now all glory to God our Father forever and ever. Amen. 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 God is going to take care of us. Amen. If we'll learn to be happy when we have nothing, there'll be a time when God will bring and we will have everything that we need. If we can learn to praise the Lord when we're having a bad day, Guess what? Yeah. The good day is on its way. Thanks. And the good days will last longer if we'll learn how to give God glory on the bad day. Thanks. Someone say amen. 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 We've got to get a hold of this. Amen. Every last one of us. Amen. I want to tell you a few, what's it been, a month or so ago, when I went up to see uh, Brother Kennedy when he had just had, uh, you know, all those arteries, same thing Brother Danny's going through, uh, to, uh, 
the last day or so, uh, Brother Kennedy was up there giving God glory. He was thanking the Lord. He wasn't belly aching or complaining about anything. He was just saying how much he loves Jesus and, and, and how good God is. Amen. The man's laying up there, just had a, a massive heart attack. Uh, things did not look good. Had three of his arteries uh, clogged. I mean, bad, bad shape. Uh, had all these things uh, running in and out of him. And he wasn't up there saying, oh God, this is terrible. I'm in pain. I can't believe that I'm having to go through this. He was praising God. Praise Thank you, Jesus. God takes care of us. Thank you, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God's with us. Now all glory to God our Father forever and ever. And then he says in his closing, give my greetings to each of God's holy people, all who belong to Christ Jesus. The brothers who are with me send you their greetings and all the rest of God's people send you greetings too, especially those in Caesar's household. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. So in closing tonight, I, want to, I just want to say to you, rejoice in the Lord. Amen. All the time. Pray all the time. Thank God all the time. Amen. But most importantly, be true to God. Amen. Be true to God. Don't be a part-time, part-time Christian. Don't be part-time. You gotta be this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Amen. We expect God to be there when we call on Him. Well, folks, this goes two ways. We need to be there living for God 24 hours a day, seven days a week. As you stand to your feet tonight, we're prepared to go our separate ways. Amen. When you walk out of here, be true to the Lord. In your actions, your attitude, your praise, your words, be true. Don't be poor mouthing anything. Don't be talking bad about anything, anybody. Amen. Be true to the Lord.